right welcome back to the video diary been a few days sorry um it's been a little little bit quieter now winter's here and it's a, it's cooled down a lot so um just a couple of geldings the last few days and a, the normal routine work um just an update on the filly that uh opened uh big abrasions over the front of her fetlocks that did the video on last week um been changing the bandage every second day it's going great guns only little issue we had we did start on penicillin genomycin and unfortunately she's just become worse with needles so we had to stop that and go to an oral medication a little bit disappointing but that's one of those things we have to do that so you have to play the situation by ear and the filly was just getting more and more dangerous to try and give a needle to penicillin is painful but um it is a good choice of drug so she went to oral medication she's done actually really well and the wound's starting to heal in so fingers crossed she can get out of the stables and we can get her back out to the spelling farm and she can have a bit of a break and let all those wounds healed up so going really well been a lot of pay, stack of paperwork end of financial year fast approaching so we got all that done so um you'll see the next video if you're a little bit squeamish do warn you um it's just uh, dissecting a testicle after we gelded the horse so it's just a little bit of interest hope you enjoy it and i'll speak to you soon cheers guys bye so today's been a little bit of the ultimate gear change for a horse so we actually did a bit of geldings so you can see here um this is a testicle we've removed there's different ways to geld a horse and different methods open close semi-closed um in a young thoroughbred like this horse was i uh, it was he's only a yearling rising two i take i use the open method so that's when we exteriorize everything so just to get your landmarks um this is the testicle here and this is the vascular cord and this is the epididymis now you ever hear a horse cut pride um, often there's a little bit of epididymis material left in so you've got to be really careful that you remove this here or else uh, you can leave a horse still exhibiting stallion like behavior so you want to make sure you've got the whole testicle out so just for a bit of interest uh, we'll just cut through here so you're just cutting So, when you can open a testicle, you get quite a homogenous appearance. Um, I don't know how to describe it, what it would look like, but it really just looks like testicle. Um, so, that's what you're looking for. It's enclosed in a sheath. Often when we cut through, we take quite a, a bold incision to get through pretty quickly. Um, the horse is anaesthetized, obviously, or it's done standing under local anaesthetic. Um, so, yeah, we've got that there. That's the appearance of it. The epididymis, smaller structure. So... And you can see there's white there, there's semen there. That's all part of the maturation process of, of the sperm, so that comes through the epididymis. So leaving that in place can actually mean you can still leave your horse a colt. So hope you enjoyed that, um, and hope it wasn't too squeamish for you guys. Speak to you later. Bye. All right, so just a follow-up um, on the video. Finished today. Finally, it's a bit dark already. This I'm not liking this losing light. Um, so I do apologise for the the lights in the car they're not great um but this afternoon managed to do some winglings um x-rays for the sails which is always fun game um, and i say game is because we're, we have to x-ray stifles hocks hind fetlocks uh, knees and front front fetlocks and feet um, and that's part of the sales process for thur for thoroughbreds so we managed to get that done with some sedation thankfully they were very good um I microchipped some of them on Monday and they weren't so good to microchip but they were really good today to get the x-ray done so we got that done and um, it's a pretty quick process it takes about 15 to 20 minutes per horse and we, we fire through them pretty quickly so got that all done um, sorry about the missing messages as I said before I've been on uh, book work time and that's not very interesting um, and then this afternoon got to, got to um, do a pre-purchase on a really nice uh, horse for a, a young a young girl and um, so I think she's bought herself a new horse so that's very exciting so it's nice to see an older horse that's it's going to do a really good job um, real schoolmaster so it's fantastic really sound so that was good so I'll catch up again tomorrow cheers bye